I have recently had the opportunity to use my plasma cutter to cut an 8 inch steel I-beam in half. This was my first time and it did not go so well. I'd like to share my mistakes with you so you don't have to make them if you ever try this. The plasma cutter that I'm using is the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 XP. This is a really neat little unit. It will auto sense what power source voltage you're plugged into. So it comes with adapters. This adapter allows you to use a standard household 15 amp circuit, as well as the 20 amp circuit. But if you want some real cutting power, use this 240 volt adapter. Once it's plugged in, all you have to do is tell the unit how many amps you want to pull. Adjust your dial here for a standard 15 amp circuit. Here for your standard 20 amp circuit. Lucky enough to have 240 volts available? Move your dial all the way up here to get 30 amps of cutting power. The whole unit came with this compact little carry case and it has just about everything you need to operate the unit right inside. Unfortunately, they didn't include a little box that has skills and experience in it, so I'm going to have to try this on my own. To try to learn how to use the unit, I spent a few weeks cutting out bonsai trees out of 16 gauge steel. Once I mastered this skill, my ignorance flared up and allowed me to say, hey, let's cut a real big steel beam. This is what an I-beam looks like. Someone on Craigslist had welded big quarter inch steel plates on both sides. I needed to cut them off. A plasma cutter only needs two things to operate. Electricity, which is provided from the torch through the metal and then back into this ground lead. And clean, dry, compressed air. So make sure you use the filter, don't run straight from your air compressor. Grind a spot on your I-beam down to bare metal and hook up your ground lead. Every place you're going to start a cut, grind down to bare metal as well. This will provide electrical continuity for the arc to start. Okay, let's get started. I'm running 240 volts, 30 amps, and I'll make my first cut along the side of the beam right here. Starting at the bottom of the beam, everything seems to be progressing very nicely. Well, here's my first problem. The torch isn't cutting all the way through anymore. Oops. Molten steel in the face. Once I got past the center of the I-beam, the cutter finally punched through. I moved back and tried to cut the center again, and look what happens. You can see the large glob of molten steel on the side of the beam. After analyzing the problem, here's what I think happened. You can see that the steel gets considerably thicker the closer it gets to the center. So as I'm moving upward, I need to slow my cut down. And when I hit the center, this steel is more than 5 8 inch thick. My plasma cutter is only rated at 5 8 max, so I'm asking my tool to do more than it's designed for. To fix this, what I'll try doing is try gouging the center out instead of cutting it. Let's try my new plan on the other side. So far, so good. The molten steel in my face means I'm at the center, so I change the angle of the torch and start blowing the steel downward into the water. All right, let's go ahead and cut the center of the beam out. As you can see, the plasma cutter is having no problem. Now, I try to gouge out some of that center section from the other side of the beam. Nope, won't fall off. Keep working. Hmm, now what seems to be the problem? 
it seems that my gouging filled in my center cut. So we'll just cut that back out again. Now we've arrived at my final lesson. A large quarter inch piece of steel is very heavy. Hey. Yay! Okay. It's the first one. Finally, you can take a hammer and knock all the slag off the bottom of the I-beam. There you have it, one completed project. This is by far one of the best tools ever invented since sliced bread and the toaster. I think I'll hold off on making any more plasma cutting videos until I buy more safety equipment, like maybe a face shield, and possibly take a welding class. But hey, thanks for watching.